Hey everyone, and welcome back to Explore HQ. Today I'm going to be walking you through in the video um, a little bit of an upgrade uh, slash maintenance on my third gen 4Runner. Um, underneath today we're going to be doing uh, the cam eliminator kit, um, and it's going to be from 333 Fabrication, um, company that makes a number of aftermarket upgraded parts, uh, specifically for Toyotas and for 4Runners. Uh, of multiple generations, but with mine, um, I have noticed uh, that there is no more adjustment left um, on my lower control arms, and um, looking at the front of the vehicle, um, say this is a left and a right tire, um, I've actually got what's called negative camber, so the tops of the tires are actually angled out, um, and again, I've got no way to pull those back in, um, even with aftermarket control arms uh, up top. So it leads me to believe we probably got a little bit of an issue with the cam bolts and more than likely some issues with my bushings, which are now 250,000 miles. So while I'm down there doing the cams, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the control arms to do those bushings as well. So I'm not gonna be showing you um, how to do the bushings as there are better videos out there. Uh, my boy Timmy has done one, so I'll put the link in the description showing the video how to do those uh, lower control arm bushings. Um, and again, I'll let him take it away. But um, White Line is who I went through for the bushings. And again, the 333 Fab for the cam eliminators. Um, and uh, you'll see some details of why I decided to change. Um, there are some definite benefits to upgrading. Uh, a lot of people call it a very weak link. Um, it really only becomes a weak link if you do uh, some pretty hard wheeling um, and they can get out of alignment pretty quickly. Um, so the, again, this kit handles a lot of that. So I'll walk you through it. Um, let me know if you've got questions. See you soon.
control arm where the cam bolt came out. And then this is the back side of where the cam bolt was seized inside. And so what I was doing was coming in between that washer right there to cut the cam bolt free on both sides. And now, since I've got a cam bolt frozen inside, everybody's trying to wonder, well, what are you gonna do? You gotta go to the parts store, which is true. Um, kind of already planned on that, so I could either go on back with OEM again, or in my case, I chose to go a little heavier duty route and went with 333 Fab's um, actual bolt kit. And what this does is actually removes the cam sleeve and replaces it with this gigantic bolt that goes straight through. Um, same style, so washers and then the, the uh, nut on the back side. And then it comes with these cam plates as opposed to the little round fine tune adjusted one um, where this one you could kind of rotate around and position it where you needed to before you locked it back in place. So same theory, just way more sturdy. Um, it's probably an understatement of what these are gonna go in. And then since I've got the, obviously the very old um, control arms off, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the bushings because I noticed that there's a whole lot of play in my bushings. So again, I kind of had and knew that I was gonna be doing this regardless. So uh, white line is what I chose to go with. Um, uh, Timmy did the same one on his video. So I'm going to go uh, follow suit and use the same ones. Um, except I'm not gonna use a bottle jack when I take these back out. I'm going to go take it downstairs in my press. Um, you know, obviously I don't wanna risk any damage to an A arm because that would be several hundred dollars per side. And um, I think it's gonna be easier just to use the, the press that I bought. Okay, lower control arms fresh from the presses, have the new white line bushings and guides and everything put in. Um, now I'm gonna show you the orientation that the 333 fab um, should be going. So again, these are the bolts and the washers, um, the new tabs that come in place that take over the old cams. Um, and then these are the washers that came with the white line kit that will go on either side of those bushings. So this is the front of the truck. This is the front. This is gonna be the rear. So this will be the orientation from the back moving forward. So with this, and you'll notice these nuts and bolts, they're gigantic. They're, so this said. is a 28 <laughs> mil nut now. Um, so I have to totally change out my sockets, which is a, a good thing, really beefy. Um, but with this, it comes with two washers. So the orientation will be, you take the bolt, the washer that came with the kit, one of the tabs, and this will go from the outside in. Then you're gonna have the washer that goes on the outside of the bushing. And that slides in. You'll have the other bushing that goes in between here. Tab goes on the outside. Then you're gonna have the washer that came with the kit and then the new nut. And I'll show you what that looks like when I get underneath the truck. Okay, here it is installed. So we have in the back bolt, supplied washer from the 333, alignment tab. Here's the body right there. Washer supplied with white line. You can see the new bushing that's been pressed in. And then on the front, washer, the body, alignment tab, supplied washer, and then the huge nut up front. And again, this is back of the driver's side looking forward. So bolt goes through the back, nuts in the front. Okay, wrapping up the cam bolt install and then my bushing swap uh, project that I had going on. Um, after I got the cam bolts installed, I uh, got the camber back where I wanted it. Remember when I started, I had negative camber, which means the tops of the front wheels were aimed out. Um, just on the ground, I was able to shift those um, to uh, nearly neutral um, just in the garage. So took it to the alignment shop and I will say, if you have a four-wheel drive and you've done springs or lower control arms or started adding all these things, lifts, et cetera, um, you wanna make sure that you go to an alignment shop that knows what to do with all those aftermarket parts. Um, if you do not, they won't have a clue how to adjust them. And yes, there is 
some nuances with them that they need to know. So um, if you don't have four wheel drive shop that um, has an alignment um, machine in their shop, um, see if they can refer you over to somebody. Uh, nine times out of 10, they will. So with this one, um, lucky uh, enough, I knew my camber and my caster was exactly where I wanted it. So I really just needed them to adjust the toe um, after putting these parts on. So um, just sort of eyeballed it in my garage, making sure uh, just getting it to the point where it was drivable to get it to the alignment shop. So um, my toe is now completely neutral. Um, Casper, uh, caster and camber, again, exactly where, um, where I wanted it. Um, and they left it that way. So uh, again, this will track a lot better. Uh, uh, wear and tear on tires should be a lot better, um, especially if you're jumping on highways at highway speeds, you can wear them out pretty quick. Um, but uh, as far as the cam kit goes, yes, um, I absolutely think it's going to be worth the money and the time and the effort to put it in. Um, it would have been a whole lot quicker for my install if I didn't have to do the bushings on the lower control arms. But again, that was long overdue maintenance that needed to be done. Um, so I'm looking forward to see how the cams do off road, um, as far as, you know, taking a couple of hits and seeing if anything gets knocked out of uh, alignment. Um, so, uh, there is a couple of places you can put a, a paint pen mark, um, from the bolt to the actual cam plate on there. And I've done so in a couple of places. And, um, again, just a visual inspection. You can take a glance and see if anything got turned or shifted. Um, with that method. So um, got a few more maintenance items coming up as far as videos go. Um, got a really tr a really cool trip happening um, in a couple of months where I'm heading out west. Um, the trip will be several thousand miles. Uh, overlanding trip, going to be camping off the back of the rig. So I'll do some videos coming up showing you how I'm getting ready for um, that, uh, that trip as well. So if you got questions, uh, hit me up in the comments. Otherwise, like, subscribe. We'll see you guys soon.